Hi everybody, this is Claire of Mark's Care. I'm going to show you today how to make paper lanterns that you can decorate yourself depending on um, the festivity or maybe you just want to do it for decorative purposes or for Christmas or Easter or Chinese New Year, whatever you want to do. Um, what you're going to need first of all is you're going to need some card, some craft glue, some masking tape, a pair of scissors and whatever you want to do to make the handle of your lantern that you could use it, you could make it out of card today i've made mine out of uh, pipe cleaners so i have two different types here i've done so this is a piece of a four card so that would be like the same size as what would be in your uh like a printer paper and this is slightly bigger this is a3 now I, look enough, I've got this nice coloured card. If you don't have coloured card, you could use white card or thick white paper and then you can decorate it and colour it as you like. If you're using acrylic paint to decorate, maybe mix acrylic paint with a little bit of PVA glue so that the paint doesn't crack off once you start to bend and cut your uh, shape of your lantern. So this one here, I started just to show you as an example. So this was some pink card. And what I did was I got my uh, blue marker and I just started to kind of do my pattern and fill it in. I'll show you very quickly here. There we go. And then after that, I got a darker color. So again, this is up to you. I mean, you could draw an image if you want. I mean, you don't have to do this, but it's quite nice to be, um, just even work with some nice patterns and go with the flow it can be quite relaxing if you just like draw some um, flowing patterns and then highlight them and things like that and get some quite a nice effect. So I have two that I've done here. So one with the bigger piece of card, the A3, and one with the A4. And I've also folded them slightly differently. The A3 I have folded horizontally, so that way. And the A3 I have folded vertically so it's taller. So what you do is you fold over your finished design and you want to leave a space. You can measure this out with a ruler, you can be very precise if you want, but if you're a bit like me and you're, you, you can't be bothered doing that, you can sort of maybe use just your thumb as a guide. So what you want to do is then get a pair of scissors and cut all the way up but leave enough space about here and then just follow that all the way through and try to keep your cut as evenly as possible and try and keep your sheet of card as close to each side as possible so you don't want to kind of go going all wonky so you want to hold it in place while you're cutting it so that these two edges are together all the way through your cutting and um, so then with this one then, if I stand it up tall and then turn it around. So what I wanna do is I wanna join it with a little bit of glue. So in order to give your glue a chance to dry and hold still, especially with them as being card and not paper, what I tend to do is I put my craft glue on and then I secure it just with a little bit of mask and tape like that. I'll do the same with this side. So a little bit of glue. Secure it and just hold it in place until the glue dries and holds the paper together properly. And then you can just gently, very gently peel off that mask and tape afterwards. So that's our, our tall lantern looking very funky and gorgeous um so this is our other lantern and i've cut it the other way so it's going to be a little dumpier kind of lantern shape so same again just gonna put stick glue stick craft glue whatever you can get your hands on piece that together and it helps to have your mask and tape pre-cut beforehand because otherwise you'd be a bit of a all, all fingers and thumbs and a sticky mess. There we go. And a wee bit more. The glue stick. Like I 
say you can decorate these any way you like depending on your festive season and you can you can hang these up in a big row if you make quite a few of them you can hang them up like a washing line you know and they're really bright and colorful so they can really um, decorate a space now in order to create the um, hole for your uh, pipe cleaner to go through um, I sometimes get like a, an eraser or rubber or something just to put it on the other side just to protect your fingers and then something sharp that will maybe go through the card I'm just using the nib of a pen here and I can press that right through to the rubber so it's not hitting my fingers or hurting me and then just give that a wee squidge through and then you can just feed through the pipe cleaner but you could also use um you could use ribbon or you could use the card itself and create a little handle with that and glue it or tape it on if you don't have any pipe cleaners or anything like that handy and then i just twist that twist that around and then that just loops over and you do the same again on that side so you can see you've got these lovely i quite like them they're really bouncy and they're really colorful and really vibrant um and all i do then in the evening you can't probably see it very well here but i've i have these little battery operated led lights where you can get pretty much anywhere these days and um, people will probably have them handy enough coming up to christmas as well and lots lots of places are selling them but at night when you put those in you get these lovely shadows casting from the lantern and it's just the whole thing's very very effective so the nice thing about these lanterns is that they look beautiful and vibrant and colorful during the day but then at night they really come into their own as a lantern and all the lovely light cast shadows all throughout the different shapes that you have so i think the more you make the merrier but um, it's totally up to yourself but anyway, I hope this has been useful and I hope you enjoy the process and have a go. All right. Thank you.